Barry Smith, things were looking so good at half time. Grimsby came back strongly. Do you have any complaints about the result? I thought we deserved something out of the game with the first half performance, the second half performance. There was a major influence in it. Um, it wasn't any of their players. And, you know, we pay for it because we lose concentration and get involved in things that we shouldn't we lose concentration. That's why the results is bad as what it was. And I don't want to get you into trouble. I presume the incident you're referring to is the, is the penalty. It, it seemed harsh from our view in the press box. That that yeah, first... well, you know, the, looking from where I am, there's, no, there's a lot of talking going on. It's not just our player, their player. Um, so to give a penalty, I think, is very... You know, you've really got to be switched on to get that because there's so many players in there doing the same thing. Uh, the same thing happened in the second half at the wing and the fourth official said to me that the, t the, the two players were pulling jerseys. I'm pretty much guaranteeing that happened in the box. It, was the same thing the box. It, it did seem to me where you could have given a free kick either way and if you give a penalty for that then you're probably going to end up with five or six each game. Yeah, yeah it's one of the ones. No one likes seeing pulling and tugging in the, the area. No one likes seeing it. But I think if you're going to you know, give free kicks and penalties for that every game, then you know, you'll never get a game of football played. And overall, it was one of Dan Thomas's first first acts. He, he Overall, he did really well having come on with Phil's injury. He, he was thrown into the game and, and did really well. Yeah, you know, as Dan, we, we knew, know what Dan's capable of. Uh, he just has to provide and improve on a consistent basis. Um, you know, but he's you know, did fine. He, he can't fall for any of the goals, he saved a penalty, so the great save in the first half and the second half, so yeah, he, he's did fine, but you know, from a defensive point of view, we're disappointed, you know, the loss of concentration for the goals. And the result is harsh on Dan, but you say, do you think any of the, any of the goals were avoidable? Yeah, well, goals were avoidable, it doesn't matter whether it was today, whether it was last week, whether, you know, all goals are avoidable, so, um, you know, but, but, Listen, I feel sorry for the fans and that they've travelled this distance and there was a major influence in the game that um, you know they shouldn't have to put away paying the money that they do to travel up here. And Phil's injury, was it is it a groin strain? It looked like he was put, kind of putting some ice on his down his shorts at yeah, half time. Well, it's uh, you know it's a, we'll have to see how it is tomorrow, but it, is, it looks as if it's a groin strain. But the first half really strong. Solid to withstand Grimsby's strong start, and then Charlie Walker once again proving that he's the fox in the box, that, that man in great form. Yeah, you know, we, we always knew that if the ball got into the area and Charlie was playing, then he's, he's going to finish because he was a good finisher. Um, I thought overall in the first half, you know, we've been disciplined in our positions, we've, been, we've concentrated the full, uh, for the full 45, and that made a, a, a big difference. Um, you know, in the second half, all this concentration and it cost us at the end of Second half, you could say not much went right, but still lots of positives to take into Welling on Tuesday. Yeah, listen, we'll take it in the chin. There's a lot of good things in the first half, and you know we take them into uh, the game against Welling, and we'll still, you know, results at this half. You know that's football, um, but it wasn't through lack of effort uh, today. And we've spoken a couple of times about about the tough start and the way the, the fixtures have have been skewed against all shot. I think we've now played seven of the top ten teams after this afternoon. That, as I said on Thursday, the team have faced up to the best in the division and, and really stood toe to toe with them. Yeah, it has been a tough start, you know, and we know we're no far away, but we know we've still got a good bit to go, you know, so we'll keep working as a work in progress. Um, but I think the fans know what we're trying to do and what we're trying to be with. Uh, I appreciate the fact that they travelled up again today.